Hello everyone, I'm Frances Proctor. Welcome to this Angel Eyes Online video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do this foil text effect. There was a post on the Affinity Forums and they were asking how to do this in Affinity Photo. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to also have a, give you a shout out to a set of gradients that we're going to be using in this tutorial. They were posted up on Facebook on the Affinity Designer Photo and Publisher group on Facebook. Uh, they're a nice set of gradients. There's quite a few in there and it's a great resource to just if you want to snag that, if you want to follow me along with me as I'm going through this tutorial. These textures come from Manny Singh at the uh, Design Art Studios, I believe it is. And it's a very nice little addition to your Affinity programs. All right, let's go back to Affinity and let's get started on these, on this foil texture. So I'm going to go over here. I've got a new document. I've got my background set up and I've got my text set up. The background is just a gray rectangle and I put down here and just added a bit of noise to it just to give it a bit of texture look. All right, and our text line is just a simple text. The font is called Hastadea. It's one I downloaded somewhere online. It was a free giveaway at the time. I've looked at the life of me. I cannot remember exactly where I downloaded it, but I think pretty much any large kind of blocky kind of font or large text like this will do fine for this effect. All right, so let's get started on the effect. First thing I am going to do is I'm going to add a pixel layer here. So let's click add pixel layer. Pixel layer is going to come on top of our text layer, which is exactly where I want it for now. And with this pixel layer, we're going to go up into the filters. I am going to go into noise. We're going to add a Perlin noise filter. And as the filter loads, it loads as a nice kind of an overlay here. And I'm going to go into my swatches. And you can see I've loaded the textures that I've downloaded from Design Art Studio. And I'm going to choose a nice gold texture here right up at the top. I'm going to click on that and it's going to apply that gradient to our Perlin noise which is going to give us some nice colors in there. I think that works really well for this effect that we're going to achieve and I'm just going to leave these just a little bit. Other than that, this looks good on its own. So let's go and click apply on this. And this takes a few seconds to render. Perfect time for a drink of water. All right, we're ready to go on to our next step. So we're going to take and we're, I'm just going to grab this pixel layer and I'm going to bring it down into the text layer as a child layer and I'm going to expand that you can see it's down in here it's now become a child layer of the text and it's could fit inside the text quite nicely. Now when you have a foil texture sometimes you'll see a bit of creases in the foil so we're going to quickly add a little bit of creases on here so I'm going to go from swatches to colors up here and I'm going to go and I'm going to zoom in on here I'm also going to go grab my paintbrush and let's go into a with brushes and I've got the texture brushes and these are just the texture brushes that load with the affinity program and this one is grunge 4 but it kind of is going to be absolutely perfect. And you can see as I mouse over here, you're going to see the nice, see what this kind of brush looks like. 
but I don't want to add it in in black. We want this to be a nice color, kind of a lighter color. You can see I've got this light yellow, creamy yellow here. If I bring it over here, it's quite bright. We want to make this a little bit more um, subtle. So I'm going to go into the opacity of my brush here, and I'm going to just drop the opacity down quite a bit. And now when I bring it in here, you see it's a lot more subtle. Make it even. I'm going to undo that. Control Z. I'm going to bring down that opacity even more. Let's bring it down to about 17%. Yeah, that's better. You just want a very subtle. And just click over these just in a few places. I'm going to zoom out. Down here, over here, and a bit down there, and down at the bottom of the G. Alright, let's zoom in a bit. And a little bit of a crease up in here, which is it? Yeah. I don't want to go overboard, just a bit. And that should give us a little bit of creases in our texture. Alright. I'm going to zoom in on this now a little bit more. Let's get it so I can see the whole texture, but not... Alright, this will do for now. Now, we are going to go into the part where we're going to actually make this look like foil. And I'm going to go down here and make sure this pixel layer is still selected for now. I'm going to go into our layer menu. We're going to go a new live filter layer, and I'm going to bring in a lighting filter. And as you can see, this is not giving it a very nice look at the moment, but we are going to fix that. I'm just going to move this over so you can see that our the starters are live filter layer is in the wrong place. I want to bring it up out of here. I don't want it as, as a child layer of the uh, pixel layer, but I want it actually being applied to the whole text layer. So let's do that. So now it's becoming a layer of its own in here, and it should be applied to the whole layer as a whole, not just our, not just our pix pixel layer. Bring this over here, out of the way again. Zoom out a bit, a bit more this time. Now I'm going to do some adjustments on this. I'm going to open this up. Let's just turn this up a little bit. I'm going to open these up. Bring it down. There we are. Out. And about like that is where I'm going to set this. We are getting more light up in here, less light in here, but it's still lighting it up in here to a certain extent. Now we are, before I change any more uh, settings on our light itself, we're going to go down here, and this is where the foil magic is going to start to happen, down here in the texture lit slider. Okay, I'm going to click this, and I'm going to crank this texture up. And you can see we're getting a metallic look, we're getting a nice shine on here. I think that the 33.7 is maybe a little bit much. I'm going to go to 25 pixels. I find I think looks good on this and hit enter. You can certainly on your own play around with this. And it's beginning to look like foil. And you can see the uh, brushwork here has 
brought up some creases in our foil. And you can see now why I wanted to make it so very subtle and how easily this is being picked up because it's a bit of a lighter color to the rest of it. It's going to bring up the height in it. So now the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to do some color adjustments right here in the lighting filter using the light colors. So I'm going to start with our ambient light color. I'm going to give this ambient light color a more golden tone to it. And you can see this has already changed how our foil looks. It's got more of a gold look to it. And we can adjust how much of that gold, how golden this looks by just adjusting our ambient light. Uh, I like that. I quite like that. That looks good. And that shyness is up quite high. I'm going to leave it at that. We could bring the specular up just a bit. And we're beginning to see a really nice gold texture here. And I'm going to show you another quick trick that we can do here. I'm going to add another light. Click Add. And I'm going to bring this light over here. And I'm going to spread this out. And I'm going to pull that up in a way. And I'm going to pull this just up higher. In this light, I am going to reduce the ambient lighting just a bit. You can see our light too has the same ambient color, which is quite nice. We can increase it a bit instead of decrease it. There we go. And this is giving it quite a nice look, I think. So, with our lighting fixture, I think I'm quite done. So we're just going to click on the X in the corner. And the nice thing about this is because it's a live filter, we can always go back in and change it if we decide later we don't like it. So now we've got our nice foil look, but it's a little too neat for my tastes. I like to grunge things up a bit. So I'm going to go back to the brushes panel. I'm going to go down here to our erase brush, and I'm going to choose the same grunge brush that we used before. And you can see we still have our lighting layer selected, not the pixel layer. I'm just going to close this up, click on the whole text layer as a whole. And we're going to try and just gonna you can see it's created a mask layer here and I'm masking it out and we can just add a few little cracks in the foil. Get down there. We can also maybe increase the size of this, make our cracks a little bigger in places. I'll leave it that. I don't want to go too overboard with the cracks in the foil. Alright. Now the final tip, final thing I'm going to do is to give this a foil look. And we want to make it look like the foil has a bit of thickness. And I'm going to do it into my effects. And I am going to select an outer shadow. You can see I've already got it opened up here. I want to see the oak. And I'm going to click this little layer effects. 
icon there this is this little settings icon and it brings up a whole panel here and I like to use the panel rather than setting the effects down in here because you get a few extras up here in this panel I don't always show any effects down here you can see I've got color opacity radius and offset you have the offset tool down here which you don't have up here but I'm not going to bother using that right now for this We've got an intensity slider up here that we don't get down there. So the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to crank up the offset a bit. And I am going to bring up the uh, opacity levels on this. I want it to be fairly dark. I'm going to soften it a bit by adjusting the radius and you can see it's given our foil line already that wee bit of thickness which is what we're after we can crank up this intensity slider which just, just seems to give this a darker look here without increasing the offset gives it that just gives it more intensity I don't like the way it looks and that is our foil effect and that folks is how it's done in affinity photo I think it looks pretty cool and I thank you for watching the video and I hope you'll check out my Angel Eyes Online YouTube channel and I hope to have more videos for the Affinity programs in time up on the channel. Thanks for watching.